everyone. How many of you have stacks of these 12 by 12 offcut papers like I do? Yeah, I bet you do. Well, I'm going to help you out with that today. We're going to take one and make a cute diagonal pocket flip to decorate the page in this farmhouse journal that I'm decorating. So the other day I was on YouTube and I was watching some card makers and um, I saw this darling card and I thought, oh, that would make a cute pocket flip. Immediately my, my thoughts went to flip and this was Gina K Designs and she had a video called Getting Cornered and it was this darling corner design and I thought it would make a cute pocket and so I stopped the video and I made a template and put it in my pocket pouch and so I'm going to show you how to do that today. Yeah, it's easy and it uses up these off cuts. So the first thing we're going to do is take a measurement. So this is 12 naturally, but I'm going to measure the width of it. This one is four. And so now I'm going to decide how, how big of a diagonal pocket I want, but maybe four and a half. Let's try four and a half. I want to put the, the measurement on this side because I want it to be going in the right direction. So I'm going to measure, well, let's keep it at four. So we'll come up four, put a mark right there, and then obviously we're going to make a cut that is diagonal to this corner. So hang on one minute while I come here to my cutter. Okay, so now this is what we have, okay? We've made the cut. Now what we need to do is flip it this way and we're going to glue this down like that into the corner. Okay. I want to make a little notch though, just a tiny notch. So sometimes my cutter doesn't work well so I'm going to put just um, a second paper behind it and then the punch will punch better. And since this is going to get glued, I'm going to take the opportunity to distress that. Okay. Now, then the other thing is this page has this wide um, corner and I... I want it to, to fit well against the edge of the page. So I'm gonna line this up and cut that corner the same. Okay, all right. Now, all we need to do is just glue that down. So this is not exactly a pocket. It is technically a tuck because it's glued on two sides. Okay. Very good. Now, if you just have another little piece of paper, then that fits down in there really well, right? Yep. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is this is going to get eventually glued on those two sides. But now what we need to do is we're gonna take the top and we're just going to fold it down just a little bit. I mean, you can fold it however you know you want, but I'm going to leave just a little bit of a an edge there. Okay. Now we come up and make a crease there and get my bone folder and make a nice crease. That's as easy as that is, seriously. But at this point, you know, I on the template, I just used some, some little flower um, cutouts and, and a label. On this, I'm thinking about using this piece of lace. 
along the edge. That will make quite, you know, a bulky thing in there. If I don't want the bulk, then I can even just use a piece of paper to overlap it. I need, hmm. I'm thinking I'm gonna use the lace. So what I need to do is merely put some glue along this edge and then stretch the lace. I'm gonna need to cut it, so I want to make sure I have, you know, a corner up here and a corner down here. And I want it to be on straight. any other glue off and make sure that's it's pretty straight okay now I just need to trim it so I'm going to take my scissors and from this side This it's trimmed there and there. Good. Isn't that cute? I just thought that was so cute. Now it's ready to go on top of the page. I'll do just a little bit of distress. Now I can decorate this further. You know, I can take some pearls or some other trim. Um, part of the reason why I wanted to use this lace is it creates a little bit of weight here so that when it flips, you know, it'll, it'll stay down. So I'm gonna glue it on these two sides. This gives us the double tuck one behind and one on the inside. Okay, now if you'll just Excuse me for a minute. I will take a look at what else we can decorate with. Okay, I'm back and I have found a couple of trims. So we can use maybe this one or this one. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one. It's a little thinner for one thing. So it, it won't add a whole lot to the bulk. So I'm going to just put some glue along that edge. Trim it. How cute is that? Oh, I like it. So then we just have a piece of ephemera that can go right behind there. This flips up, and we have maybe another piece of ephemera that goes in here. Great. Isn't that easy? I kind of like that. Let me just show you uh, a close-up of how that looks. 
how it flips. I like it. Okay. Yep, there it is. Back into my pocket pouch and I will use that again in another journal. Thanks so much for being with me and we'll see you again with a new project.